<laughs> Come back here and love me. <laughs> hey, if you're bored in quarantine, have you thought about drawing? Now, we're all in the same boat. It's kind of ironic. It doesn't matter where you are right now. <laughs> we're all stuck inside. We're all self-isolating. We're all social distancing. And, you know, we're all bored. <laughs> I mean, I've watched The Mandalorian like 50 times and I'm probably gonna watch it again. <laughs> I'm even thinking about getting a dog and I'll probably name him Mando. But <laughs> that's, that's besides the point. What I want to talk to you about in this video is how to stay productive through like this whole thing. I mean, none of us, nobody really knows how far this thing's gonna go. So in the meantime, we might as well focus on art and you know our creative side. Now I'm gonna take you through the four points that I use to stay productive. Point number one is staying positive. This is a lot easier said than done, um, unfortunately, but for me, I try to ingest the right amount of information from the outside world, whether that's news or social media or a culmination of both of those, but I don't, tr I don't let it rule my day. It's very important that you, know, you self-assess because everyone's different and you take in the right amount of information that you feel keeps you plugged in enough to the world, but at the same time doesn't have a detrimental effect on your creative side. Now. You want to draw things that, that challenge you, you know, it's that way you're always growing, but you also want to draw things that make you happy. Like, you know, for me, for example, I love drawing animals. I, I can draw most anything, but for some reason, drawing animals just, it fulfills me in a different way that drawing other things just simply doesn't. So that's something for you to look at and analyze for yourself, which hopefully will, you know, help you stay positive. Now, number two is have a plan. It's really hard to accomplish any goals or do much of anything if you don't have a plan. And this goes for like if we're, you know, in self-isolation or, you know, when things start to ramp up and the world starts to go back to normal, you can continue to have a plan. Now make sure that that plan has attainable deadlines. I mean, I, I could say, yeah, you know, I'm going to crank out three different videos for you guys in a week. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big proponent of quality when it comes to my art, so I'm not gonna, I know for me that's not gonna work. But one quality video every two weeks to three weeks, like that's more attainable. Because when you're in your art flow, whatever that is, you wanna have fun doing it. I mean, the world's already stressful enough. <laughs> you wanna have fun creating your art, so set attainable goals. Also, now this, this point is huge when it comes to your plan and hitting deadlines is when you're in the thick of it, when you're drawing or whatever, take breaks. I think it was uh, Leonardo da Vinci who said, you know, you know, step away from a project and come back to it and you'll notice things about that project that, you know, maybe you didn't notice before. You know, so breaks are crucial. So just make sure you include those breaks in your plan, you know, no matter what that looks like. Step number three is, and I know a lot of you guys aren't gonna like this. I don't even like it half the time but you know, that's why they invented alarm clocks, is you need to wake up early. Because if you can wake up early, you can coffee up or tea up or you know, water up, whatever, whatever your poison is for the morning, and you can, you can get to work. For me, I find that when I'm fresh and I'm you know, awake, I'm more dialed. You know, I'm, I'm able to really sit down and, and really give my drawings uh, the best energy and the most focused energy that I can. So that's why, you know, that third step, getting up early, that is crucial. Now that might be different for you, but I have found that for me, you know, being busy, having a job outside of my art, that's the best time for me, so. And last, step number four, staying dedicated. Now this is probably one of the toughest ones to do right now, because honestly, like, everything that's happening is unprecedented in a lot of ways, and. When, you know, when you're stuck inside and you have nothing really to help stimulate your creative juices and start, you know, get those to start flowing, it, it's, it's up to you, you know, in your mind. It's, it's up to you to create that creativity. 
So, you know, some of the things that I've done to help kind of create some structure and kind of keep me honest in, in, in the creative sense is, you know, content calendars. You know, those are huge to being like, hey, you know, I got I to gotta film on Tuesday and I got to draw this by Wednesday and I have to have this shipped off to a client by Friday so that it can be there in two weeks. Like it, it helps divvy up those days, you know, cause the days can just kind of blend. You know, that's why you see all those memes on social media where they're like, oh yeah, just get rid of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's just day, 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 day. <laughs> so that, that's a way to help you with that. And always keep in mind, I mean, granted, I'm big on living in the moment. What are you creating now? But also like while you're in the midst of one project, maybe, you know, think about what are you making next or what's a series that you wanna work on. So like, let's say if you're drawing out a bunch of dogs and you just drew a German Shepherd, like, are you coming out with a Golden Retriever next? Is it a French Bulldog? Is it an English Bulldog? Like, like what is it? Like, what are you making next? And that, that'll help you fill up that content calendar that we were just talking about, you know? So you, so you know a week, two weeks ahead of time what you're gonna be working on. So that's it, those are the, four steps that I'm personally using to help kind of get me through this quarantine time. And hopefully you guys are able to use these same steps in your own creative process and create art. Even if you're stuck at home, you're an artist. And artists are essential because when you think about it, who is the world turning to when it comes to you know, this whole self-isolation that we all find ourselves in. You know, they're turning to, to art. They're turning to their own creative selves and they're watching movies and, and they're drawing and they're painting and, and they're reading books and they're writing poetry. And, you know, art is, you know, it's keeping us happy right now. So remember, stay creative. You are essential. Stay happy, stay healthy.